April 26, Third Sunday of Easter A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke That very day, the first day of the week, two of Jesus' disciples were going to a village seven miles from Jerusalem called Emmaus, and they were conversing about all the things that had occurred. And it happened that while they were conversing and debating, Jesus himself drew near and walked with them, but their eyes were prevented from recognizing him. He asked them, What are you discussing as you walk along? They stopped, looking downcast. One of them named Cleopas said to him in reply, Are you the only visitor to Jerusalem who does not know of the things that have taken place there in these days? And he replied to them, What sort of things? They said to him, The things that happened to Jesus the Nazarene, who was a prophet mighty in deed and word before God and all the people, how our chief priests and rulers both handed him over to a sentence of death and crucified him. But we were hoping that he would be the one to redeem Israel. And besides all this, It is now the third day since this took place. Some women from our group, however, have astounded us. They were at the tomb early in the morning and did not find his body. They came back and reported that they had indeed seen a vision of angels who announced that he was alive. Then some of us went to the tomb and found things just as the women had described, but him they did not see. And he said to them, Oh, how foolish you are! How slow of heart to believe all that the prophets spoke! Was it not necessary that the Christ should suffer these things and enter into his glory? Then, beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he interpreted to them what referred to him in all the scriptures. As they approached the village to which they were going, He gave the impression that he was going on farther, but they urged him, Stay with us, for it is nearly evening and the day is almost over. So he went in to stay with them. And it happened that, while he was with them at table, he took bread, said the blessing, broke it and gave it to them. With that, their eyes were opened and they recognized him, but he vanished from their sight. Then they said to each other, Were not our hearts burning within us while he spoke to us on the way and opened the scriptures to us? So they set out at once and returned to Jerusalem, where they found gathered together the eleven and those with them who were saying, The Lord has truly been raised and has appeared to Simon. Then the two recounted what had taken place on the way and how he was made known to them in the breaking of the bread. The Gospel of the Lord The Emmaus Walk The walk to Emmaus is one of the most known and favorite resurrection narratives. Three themes easily emerge from the narrative. First, Jesus interprets the scriptures The scriptures speak about him and find fulfillment in him. Luke is presenting the process by which the believers come to understand the scriptures. It is the resurrection that sheds new light on Jesus' death, his word, and the scriptures. Second, the meal has the overtones of the Eucharist. We recognize the risen Jesus in the breaking of the bread, the early Christian name for the Eucharist. Jesus left us the Eucharist so that he could stay with us, especially when it is dark evening around us. Third, after recognizing Jesus in scriptures and in the Eucharist, the disciples are to go back and share their experience with the other disciples. The Mass in Latin ends with Ite Misa Est. Our Eucharist missions us to our sisters and brothers.